Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The American President Joe Biden and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi had announced the US India initiative on critical and emerging technology ICT in May 2022 to elevate and expand the strategic technology partnership between the two nations and also increase the industrial cooperation. On 31st January 2023 the NSA of the two countries led the inaugural meeting of the ICET in Washington DC now as a part of this program GE a world leader in military jet engines will manufacture the 98 kN thrust GF414 engines in India in collaboration with DRDO and private partner which is yet to be identified now both the countries are also looking to promote the joint production of defense equipment which includes military jet engines long range artilleries armored infantry vehicles and general atomics a major american energy and defense cooperation firm has started three significant projects in india in the field of artificial intelligence drones and semiconductors and the company announced this a day after the launch of the landmark india us initiative on critical and emerging technologies that is icet In today's video we are going to discuss about all the three key projects which General Atomics will be working with Indian partner. To start with its MQ9B drones. On 3rd January it was reported that General Atomics has announced its strategic partnership with Bharat Forge to manufacture the aero structures. Both the firms will manufacture the main landing gear components, sub assemblies and assemblies of the remotely piloted aircraft. The negotiations for the local assembly of MQ9B has been going on between India and US for quite few years. The naval chief has also told that at least 60% of the quantity of the aircraft proposed for procurement in India will be manufactured in India. A tri services case for procurement of 30 MQ9B from US is under government to government foreign military sales route and is in process of getting acceptance of necessity shortly. US government has also agreed to set up an MRO that is maintenance repair and overhaul facility for Sea Guardians in India which will serve as Sea Guardian global sustainment hub where this system from any country could be serviced in India. As a part of this MQ9 deal India has also planned to transfer certain niche technologies to DRDO for indigenous design and development of HEL RPS. Apart from this, the General Atomics has also entered into a partnership in the disruptive field of artificial intelligence with 114 AI, which is an Indian artificial intelligence company to develop the next generation of technologies in artificial intelligence. AI, as we all know, is going to be everywhere and especially in defense. It's widely being already used for ISA that is intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance. to identify soldiers targets and feed the information back to the command and control center ai is also being used to take various decisions such as what action to take when a threat is detected on 27 september 2022 general atomics announced another strategic partnership with indian startup company third eye tech a company which develops the next generation computer chips integrated circuits and semiconductor the startup is also one of the inaugural winners for indian ministry of defense flagship idex program in the spirit of increasing technology cooperation between india and us the companies will now work to co-develop the state of art products for india and global market talking about general atomics it has been working closely with the team of third i tech since 2021 and this announcement comes as two companies are beginning to co design and co develop the products this represents a large shift from today's landscape that is dominated by technology transfer from us to indian companies a task force has also been set up by the us semiconductor industries association sia in partnership with india electronic semiconductor association with participation from government of india semiconductor mission the objective of this task force is to develop readiness assessment to identify the near 
term industry opportunities and facilitate the longer term strategic development of complementary semiconductor ecosystems this task force will make recommendation to the department of commerce and indian semiconductor missions on opportunities and challenges to overcome in order to further strengthen india's role with the global semiconductor value chain and will also provide input to us india commercial dialogue the task force will also identify and facilitate workforce development and research and development this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector